Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create an enhanced chart data label. So you might have a column chart like this and you have these data labels that represent the, in this example, maybe we'll represent some sales based on each month. But instead of having some number labels, maybe you want to have a little bit more descriptive labels and they change every time that you update the data and you can change it. So what we want to do is maybe in this example, maybe I can say, oh, I have a more descriptive text label making this one, this one is uh, great. And this this the February that was okay, and then March was great. The sales were great that month. Uh, April that was really bad, and then May was better, and then June really really bad, or maybe fired. Someone's gonna get fired. So this is an example of an enhanced data label. It's a little bit dynamic. Um, semi-dynamic you can uh, manually put those in and, and those will get generated here and I'll show you two ways that we can do it so let's go into the first way so let's pretend that we have our data here uh, I have our, our month data here I'm going to go and select this and insert a chart select that or I can just basically select anywhere in the table and go into insert and we'll insert a column chart I'm going to do a little bit of formatting here that we don't need this uh, legend we'll delete that we don't need the grid lines I'm going to go ahead and delete that now what we want to do is we want to add data labels to each one of these bars. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, right click, and go ahead and add the data label. Now the data label shows up here, and so when I click on it, you can see all the data labels have been selected. So what I want to do is I want to click it again, and it will select the first one. And I'll go ahead and uh, go up to the formula bar, or I can press F2, and it will take me to the formula bar. And I want to reference this cell here go and reference that cell here but before I do that before I click over there what I needed to do let me go ahead and click back to select it and go ahead and go up here I have to type the equal sign so the equal sign is going to point to this reference so if I click on here now you see that it has shown the reference cell B11 and basically it's taken the worksheet or, or tab name um, and closed it in single quotes because there's a space between uh, these words so that it's done for that one press enter and now if I put something in here maybe I can say the same thing this was great that has put it in there so let me go ahead and try this one over here I selected the label select it again that's the only one selected press F2 and type the equal sign and point down here so February that will and if I press enter now it's going to have it in there there's nothing in this cell so that's why it's blank this will also be good this will be a good one and that has enabled that so if February wasn't too good let me see if I change the data and made February maybe 200 and now it's below and now it's not good anymore so I can go here and type bad and now I have a different data label that I can semi dynamically change so I'll go ahead and change the other ones and kind of speed up this video so you can see what it looks like Now I've made the rest of these column charts, I've made the labels uh, reference their own particular cell here. So if I type in, uh, let's say this is March, this was also a great month, and April was a so-so month, and then May was a good month, and then June was a bad month. So you can see that the, the daily labels have been generated here each time I've updated this cell. So that was one of the ways that we can do it. Basically have the have the label reference a cell. So let's go into our next example and see how we can do it in another way. So I'm here in a, another tab and what I'm going to do is in this particular example instead of having the data label reference the another cell. So instead we can have two series of data within the same chart area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this whoops just select it and just click insert and insert a column and that's there I'm going to go ahead and just remove the legend here press delete and remove these grid lines press delete and we have another table here where I'm going to put the data in so basically this is going to be equal this press enter and what it basically is referencing a2 so I'm going to go ahead and just click the fill handle here and bring it down 
And so the formulas are copied down. You can see A4, A5, A6, and A7. So it referenced that. I'm going to do the same thing for the sales here. So I'm going to go and click here, this first cell, type equal, and then sales here, type enter, and then go ahead and reference it down. Go ahead and just click the fill handle here and then just reference it down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just, this is just for referencing so I can know that it's January and February. Now what I want to do is I want to add uh, the data in here into the chart. So I'll go ahead and select the chart, go into design, select data, and go ahead and click add. And I'm going to go ahead and select series name. I'm just going to go select comment here. For the series value, select that and delete it, and then go ahead and select this range of uh, cells. Go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click OK here. What I want to do is I want to add the data label here so I can at least know which one it's going to show up. So I'm going to go and right click that add data labels. So that shows up right now. And so when I do any adjustment later on, I know that that data label is reflecting this particular set of data. What I want to do afterwards now is I want to go ahead and make sure this is on a secondary axis. So I right click on it, make sure they're all selected. Right click and go ahead and set, select format data series. I want to put that on a secondary axis. And what I want to do also is I want to change it now. Now go ahead and close out of this. Go back into select data. And then under the comment, I want to have the comment reference the this cell, these range of cells here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit, make sure this is selected. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be I'd be editing this the sales one. Go ahead and select under comment. Go ahead and click edit, and the access label range. I want to be I want it to be this range of cells. Go ahead and click OK, and now that's selected. You can you can notice that since this is the primary, it's gonna keep that category access. Go ahead and click OK here. We can see the red color is the top one. You can think, just think of this as layers again. Uh, the, the red is on top and the blue one's on bottom. The secondary axis is on top. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and go ahead and click Format uh, Data Series. I want to have this particular color disappear, so I don't want any fill color here. So this is all selected. Go under Fill here and select No Fill. And the border, the border color, I'm going to select No Border Color. So I'll go ahead and select No Line for that borderline color. Click Close. And you notice now that uh, we have our original blue, which is basically coming off of this table. What I can do now, since I've selected the labels coming off of this table, I can go ahead and right click and have it and format the data labels here and have it the category name. So I can click deselect value and select category name, click close, and now I can change the data labels here. So I can go ahead and for January, this was good. And then February, this was not, maybe I can say not bad. And then March was great. Or maybe March was good too. And then April was bad. And then May was okay. And then June was really, really bad. Right? So these are the day, these are the daily labels that we can enha enhance for it. And basically, this is just a combination chart. This is two uh, series of data within the same chart. One thing we all, might want to also do is remove the axis here, so it doesn't give the impression that there's another axis here. So I can go, go ahead and select that, right click, go under Format Axis, and then let me go ahead and move this over here. I'll go ahead for the major tick. I'm going to say none. And then for the axis label, I'm going to go ahead and click none. And then the line color, I'm going to go ahead and select no line color. Click close. And now if we deselect outside of that. And now we have our chart with the enhanced chart labels. Uh, let me see if we change June to maybe June got better. We'll see how this works. 400 and maybe June got better at 400. And now it's not really that bad. Now maybe it's OK. Oops. Let me uh, control Z to undo that. Let me escape actually out of that. Now instead of being really bad, it's just OK. Press Enter, and now we change the data label there. So there you go. There's the two examples or two ways that we can create an enhanced chart data label. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.